Hi there! Welcome to the Paid Memberships Pro Guided Video Series. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create a new member for your PM Pro membership site by using a Google spreadsheet, Zapier, and our PM Pro Zapier integration add on. In this example, we are going to set up a zap that adds a member to our site whenever a new spreadsheet row is added to a Google spreadsheet. Before getting started, be sure to set up a Zapier account over at zapier.com, install and activate the PM Pro Zapier integration add-on, and finally, create a new Google spreadsheet that you can use to create new members with. You will need to have a couple of specific columns in your spreadsheet set up, so head over to our documentation if you need some help with this. When ready, log into your Zapier account and click on the Make a New Zap button. Now do a quick search for Google Sheets, click on the New Spreadsheet row and save your selection. Follow the steps to authenticate your Google Sheets account with Zapier. Once authenticated, select the spreadsheet you will be populating with member data and the specific worksheet that contains this data. This is usually going to be labeled Sheet 1 unless otherwise named in your spreadsheet. Select the sample that you want to use for your zap. As you can see here, the sample is already retrieving data from my Google spreadsheet. Now let's set up an action for our zap. To do this, click on the Next Step Action link, select the Webhooks option. Select the Get option on the Select Webhooks by Zapier Action step. Now navigate to your PM Pro membership site and locate the Webhook Handler URL. This can be found by navigating to your WP Dashboard, Memberships, PM Pro Zapier, and then selecting the Receive Data from Zapier tab. Copy the webhook handler link and paste it under the webhook URL field. In the query string param section, add a parameter with the name action and the value add underscore member. There are other available actions for this integration, so please feel free to see our documentation for more information on this. Continue to add additional query string parameters for the data you would like the spreadsheet to send to your membership site. There are a variety of parameters you can use in your spreadsheet, so please be sure to view our documentation for more information on this. Available parameters for the action must correspond to a column of data in your spreadsheet. One thing to keep in mind is that there are two parameters that are required by default in order for the zap to work. The first being the user underscore email and the level underscore ID. In the additional action settings section, you should set unflatten to no. Go ahead and click continue. Now you can review your sample and when ready, click the Send Test to Webhooks by Zapier button. If the test was successful, go ahead and click Finish. Name your zap and turn your zap on. Now let's go to our Google Spreadsheet and create a new member. Head over to the spreadsheet that you just linked to your zap. As you can see by my spreadsheet, I already have a couple of members in there with the relevant columns already set up. To add a new member, simply input the relevant data into the spreadsheet columns. Once done, make sure your spreadsheet has saved and now head over to your site. Refresh it and a new member should appear in your member list. If you are a PM Pro Premium member and need help with this or any other add-on, please feel free to reach out to us via our member support area. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.